Hold it, Duke. Hold it. Surely that's not the way you're feeling. I thought you'd have something more lively to say than that. Well, I don't know that I'm feeling altogether cheerful. Certainly everything has been so fine and people so nice that I ought to be feeling good. But after all, this is really my farewell. And you can take it from me that I don't want to go. Sure, I know how you feel. But you're not gone yet. And after all, it's only going to be a case of Alf Biedersand, isn't it? I hope so. Just as soon as possible, we will be back again. If it doesn't turn out to be an annual trip, I'll be the most disappointed man in the world. Is that because uh, you've discovered how well your work is known and appreciated over here? Largely, I suppose. Although I must say that it has been positively embarrassing at times to be asked the most analytical questions about work which I have nearly forgotten by now. Well, you'll have to write some new numbers. And by the way, have you got any in mind? Yes, I have. I want to write a rude song. This was accidentally suggested by Mrs. Constant Lambert, who referred to our little melancholy tune as Rude Indigo. All I need for the number now is the balance of the title to go with Rude. I shall have to leave that to you. Incidentally, everyone is anxious to know which of your own compositions is your favorite. That's a difficult one to answer. The things I've liked best, I've often left on the shelf. But of my published and recorded numbers, I think I like Mood Indigo best. Do you think rhythmic music will ever become divorced from the ballroom and find a permanent home in the concert hall? Yes, inevitably. But perhaps not in this generation. It is the youngsters of these days who will make the audiences of the future. And they have no prejudices of which they must rid themselves. That seems logical enough. And now there's just time for you to say goodbye. No, I refuse to say goodbye. Au revoir is the word, and it comes from the bottom of my heart.